Hey, hey, y'all. If you want to head to our website to check out all the different things Pizzazz offers, then just head to pizzazzart.com. That's P Z A Z Z A R T.com. You will see our online memberships. We've got kids club memberships, our lettering club membership, our one project a month membership. We call that paint and praise. You will see some freebies that we've got there for you. And you'll see our local classes if you're local. So head to the website, check it out, pizzazzart.com, P-Z-A-Z-Z-A-R-T.com. Hey, hey, y'all, this is Casey Hope with the Here's Hope podcast, and today I'm excited to dive into some just really practical advice from the Bible. Did you know that the Bible is just full of really good practical advice that you can start to apply today? And over the next few weeks, I would love to dive into some of these just words of wisdom, practical advice, things you can apply to your right now situation. But today, I want to focus on one of those verses that I actually, I just shared this with a friend this week. She's going through some different situations, and this was a verse that my dad would repeat over and over to me growing up, and it's one of those that has stuck with me. Um, Sometimes I remember it, and sometimes I forget it. And when I forget this little piece of advice, it bites me in the booty. So let's just talk about it today so that maybe it can be helpful to you too. You see, sometimes or oftentimes, almost on a daily basis, we are facing situations and we can kind of go one of two ways in how we handle decisions that need to be made. Sometimes we can feel like, man, I have no idea what to do next. We feel like this decision, it's so big and the next step seems like it might be too life-changing or scary and I just, I don't feel like I know what to do to move forward. So we can have what you may have heard of as analysis paralysis. So we overanalyze everything. We think of how many different ways could this go and what all things could take place. And if I make this decision, what's going to happen next and next and next? And we, we, we analyze this and think about it and let it roll in our head to a point where we are just frozen. We feel stuck. We're frozen in fear, not sure on which way to go because of all the things that are just running through our head. Or sometimes you're on the exact opposite end of the spectrum. I am anyway. So sometimes I can feel like I have no clue. I don't know. This is too big, too scary, too, like I I need to be smarter to make these decisions. And then other times I feel like, and you might do the same thing. It's the exact opposite. You feel like, oh, I got this. This is an easy decision. And now maybe the decision is on a job or a degree or a move or a business or work decision. And sometimes you have no clue, but then sometimes you feel like this just seems so obvious. Yep, I got it. No doubt about it. I don't need to consult anybody. I don't need to pray about it. This is a no brainer. I got it. I have been in both situations more times than I can count. <laughs> One example where fear and the unknown kept me stuck was several, several years back when I was considering franchising Pizzazz. I may have told you this story. I can't remember if I've shared this on the podcast or not, but I was considering to franchise Pizzazz. And we still, to this day, have people asking us, are we a franchise? And I knew I had to figure out some way to grow our business because we had already maxed out what we could do within our four walls of our local studio. So I was just brainstorming, asking the Lord, you know, which, how do I grow this business? What do I do? What should I do? And so I was considering franchising. Now, I had no clue about franchising. I didn't know the first place to start. So I would go on Google and look things up and read different things about it, find articles, find different groups, all the things. You know, I started preparing the things that some of these articles told me to prepare and go ahead and get in place. If I was going to franchise, I started typing up different documents that I needed, um, getting real clear on our procedures and processes because I knew if if we were going to franchise one day, we would need that. And so I'm just moving forward, moving forward. But it was still so big and so scary and so unknown that I didn't really know what my next step should be. And so even though I was 
learning a lot and trying to prepare a lot, I was scared to death to actually make a step in that direction. Now, I want to pause that story and tell you another story that was completely different, okay? (laughs) Contrast this with maybe six years prior to this incident. I was a school teacher. So before I started Pizzazz, I taught school. And I decided that the next right step, and let me focus on I decided, I decided all on my own, (laughs) no counsel, no anything. I knew what my next step should be, and that would be to go back and get my master's. I decided I would get it as a reading specialist because to me, it was a no-brainer. Every, all teachers, if they wanted to get paid more, they go back and they get their master's. So that's just what you do. And I decided I kind of, I like, it's, it's interesting to me to learn about how to teach kids to read. So I'll do that. I'll diversify my skill set. It doesn't matter if I don't have the money for it. I know how to get student loan. Like all, I like, yeah, no brainer. This is what I'm going to do. This has to be the next best step for me because it is furthering my education and I will have a higher paying job and be better equipped at what I do. No brainer. The decision seemed obvious. But let's look at a tiny piece of scripture (laughs) that speaks to both of these situations. Whether you feel like you know exactly what your next step should be, like I did when I was so full of confidence and knew what the next step should be, or if you're frozen in fear and have no clue what those next steps are, there is scripture that speaks to both of these situations. And that scripture, the one my daddy, he told me a lot of Proverbs over the years. <laughs> he repeated this one a few different times, but Proverbs fifteen twenty two, it says, plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors, they succeed. Plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors, they succeed. So what does that look like, you might be asking? You might say, okay, I hear you. You know, plans fail for lack of counsel when we act on our own accord, when we don't get advice from other people, when we just start moving forward, plans fail. But with many advisors, they succeed. Now, sometimes we can read that and we're like, oh, well, that sounds great. Sounds great if I had an advisor for my life, but I don't. I don't have an advisor. I don't have a mentor. So what do I do? If I want to get some advice in a certain area, what do I do? Well, here are some really quick, practical, tangible steps. We happen to be living in a day and age where there is advice and wisdom and you can learn from people in so many different ways. One of those, and these are not put in like any particular order, one of those is books and podcasts though. You can literally find an expert in a field that you want to learn more about and buy a book for them, listen to them on a podcast. You can glean so much wisdom from books and podcasts. Another thing that you can do is find somebody who's been there and done that. Is there somebody, if you're wanting to go into a certain field of study for your major, is there somebody that you can talk to who's already gone through the major and is, you know, working in the field? Talk to them before putting in all the hours only to find out something, that, you know, on the other end of it. Maybe you didn't want to do that particular major. Maybe talk to somebody. If you're looking at going to a certain job, talk to somebody who works there with those employees and with that boss. There's so many things that you can just say, hey, this is what I am wanting to do. Can I find somebody who has walked in these shoes before? Same thing can go for different medical things, different finding people who've been in your same shoes with whatever kind of, whatever kind of sickness or situation you may be with that. It's just comforting for one to find somebody who's been there and done that, but also there is wisdom that can be pulled from that. So number one is books and podcasts. Number two is talk to somebody who's who's walked in those shoes that you're wanting to walk in or been down the path that you want to go. Talk to somebody who's been there and done that. Number three is trusted friends. So often people ride around you If you're lucky, they have your best interest in mind. Talk to trusted friends, not just any friends. You got to be careful, but trusted, wise friends and experts. There's so many people who know so much more about different things than than you are ever going to. So find some of the experts and try to get counsel, okay? So again, 
Proverbs 15, 22, plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors, they succeed. I know friends who have different legal things and they will, you know, with many advisors, they succeed. When they talk to one legal expert, they got some good ideas, but when they talked to multiple and got different opinions, things became a lot more clear of what next steps should be. So let me just go back to my stories and tell you how they turned out because they turned out very differently based on if I got wise counsel or not. So with the schooling, like I told you, I did not get counsel. I didn't ask anybody because I didn't think I needed to. I felt like it was a no-brainer. I got this. This is absolutely the next best step. So here I go. Let me sign up for classes. And what happened way on down the line is I've never used that ever. Before I could even finish getting it, God had already put pizzazz on my heart and I started to do pizzazz and I didn't know that that was going to be a career change, but it totally changed the trajectory of what I was doing. And so I have this class credit that I do nothing with and debt. Now, luckily, it wasn't a huge, you know, burden and wasn't huge debt or anything like that. But I just think, man, I could have avoided that. If I would have just done two things, if I would have prayed about it, I truly think God would have prompted me to hold on because he was leading me towards something totally different. I didn't have a clue at the time, but I think if I prayed about it, he would have showed me something. He might have not showed me everything, but I think he would have showed me something. And I didn't get any counsel. I don't know what counsel may have said. I don't know, but I'll never know because I didn't ask him. I just didn't ask anybody. I just, I just went for it. And it, it didn't end up great. <laughs> it just ended up with debt and unused, uh, kind of wasted time. But on the flip side, back when I was thinking about expanding pizzazz and doing franchising, when I was scared to death and didn't know the next move, I was trying to get as much counsel as I could. I told you that I was reading different articles. And there's like, again, going back to books and podcasts, things that are out there. I was reading as much as I could that was out there, but I really wanted to talk to somebody who had been there and done that. And so by the grace of God and me being persistent and me trying to think who who could I maybe get in touch with that has started a franchise before, I reached out to a friend of a friend and got in touch um, with somebody that I never knew before that was just so kind to take a call and gave me the wise counsel I needed. I got on a phone call. And I thought that this counsel, I thought this advisor was going to tell me my, my game plan for exactly how to do this thing about franchising because she had been very successful in the franchising world. That's why I wanted to talk to her. She's done it before. She's walked the road that I wanted to walk. That's why I wanted to talk to her. But it was such a good, honest conversation. And what happened is by the end of that phone call, I knew that I didn't want to franchise my business. That, y'all, that saved me so much money and time and what could have been heartache. If I would have poured everything that I was about to pour into franchising a business only to down the road realize, man, I really wish I wouldn't have done that. Like her advice saved me so much money. It saved me so much heartache. And I think it truly kind of prompted me to be able to grow my business in other ways. And so again, plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors, they succeed. So I'm so thankful that at least sometimes I remember that verse and I get get wise counsel because the times that I've gotten wise counsel compared to the times where I just go at it on my own, the outcome is the difference of night and day. And so I want to just encourage you to think about what decisions are you making right now? And the reason I'm saying think about it is because sometimes we move through so fast that we don't even realize that we're acting on our own accord. We don't even realize that maybe we should get counsel in a certain area. And when I say counsel, you know, I mean advisors. I don't mean just legal counsel. I mean, you know, advisors, somebody who's been there, done that wisdom, other people pouring into our situation. Think about what's going on in your life. And is there some something that you can do to get wise counsel. 
Because we know the Bible is truth, it's truth, it's truth, and it's wise, it's wise, it's wise. It gives so much wisdom. Your plans will fail if you don't have counsel, if you don't have other wise people pouring into them. But many, with many advisors, they succeed. Don't just listen to one person. Don't just read one book. Don't just go to one expert. But with many advisors, they succeed. So just want to leave y'all with that because I think this is a very tangible piece of scripture that we can apply to right now. To right now, there is decisions and things that you don't know what to do, but I guarantee you the more that you let many advisors speak into your life, you are going to get more clear and the outcome is going to um, just feel a lot wiser and better. (laughs) So that is all for today, y'all. I hope this is something that you just ponder on, chew on and that you apply, that you just start either reading those books or podcasts or reach out to the expert or reach out to the person who has been there and done that because it's going to save you so much time and heartache. All right, y'all, that's all for now. See you, see ya. I hope y'all enjoyed that podcast. I'll be sure to go like, subscribe this, leave a review, let us know how you're liking it. We like that feedback. And if you want to follow us on other social platforms on Instagram, it's Pizzazz Art Studio. Same for Facebook and Pizzazz is P-Z-A-Z-Z. Pizzazz Art Studio. Go check us out and see what all we have to offer over there. 